Hi Floss Tubers, it is March the 17th and I'm back with my update. Um, I'm going to start this update by thanking people that have commented on my previous video just because if I don't do it now I'll probably forget. So I had um, a comment from Janet Kingshot, sorry I'm just looking at my iPad. Janet Kingshot, who left a really nice comment about my T-Rex design, so thank you very much. Um, the Springfield Stitcher. Um, half Stitch, Cross Stitch. Amanda Pan Stitching. Ruth Blog Pope. And Chantal Verbist. Um, so, in my last video, I think it was my last video, or the one before that, I showed you some fabric I got from eBay and Chantel asked if she could have one of the pieces I had quite a few of, like the yellowy, really tie-dye yellowy pattern. So I sent her a couple of pieces and in return she sent me a little gift back, which I wasn't expecting, so thank you very much. So she sent me um, some variegated thread. So this is the DMC, so it's got all light blues, light greens, dark greens and red. I think it's from the Coloris or Coloris uh, range of DMC threads, number 4520. So I really like that, thank you very much. And some Gentle Arts threads. So this is a variegated light and dark blue one. And I think this is the same, although, yeah, I think this is the same. Just the variegation slightly different, I guess, in each one. So, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your fabric, and I'll definitely be using these on something. So, thank you again for that. Okay, so, general stuff. Um, got lots of school stuff to do. Parents' evenings coming up in a couple of weeks, so I've got lots of uh, reports to write. So, a lot of tomorrow will be spent writing those. I've already done some. I've got 42 to do in total and I think I've done, well I've kind of done five complete and then I've done part of the another five so it's going to take me a while, uh, a bit depressing at the thought of it to be honest. Um, I'm hoping filming this video will cheer me up a bit, people at work getting on my nerves, maybe I shouldn't say that, not everyone, mostly, mostly the people I get on really well with and my good friends, just the odd one or two people. Um, I've started making an effort to come home earlier on a Friday. Well, this is the second time I've done it, so <laughs> hopefully it will last. But normally I don't leave work till six. Uh, I only work around the corner, so I get home at ten past six, but I made sure I left at about ten past five today. Um... So I get a bit more of the Friday evening, although I feel like I could go to sleep already. Friday nights are never good for doing anything, really. I feel like I could fall asleep. But I'm hoping that when I finish this, I'm going to have my dinner and uh, get on with some stitching. So, yeah. Um, not a lot else, really, that I can think of going on. Um, my kitchen's finished. I think I might have said that in the last one. Although tiling is in progress, being done by my dad and my husband. Um, that will take another couple of days for them to do, I think. But my husband's now midway through his set of four shifts. So I think they'll do some more when he's finished that. Uh, yeah, so that's boring life stuff out of the way. Not a lot exciting going on. Two weeks till the Easter holidays and I get two weeks and a day off. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so I will show you what I have been working on. I can't see this being a particularly long video. I've only worked on two things and I haven't had any haul apart from my nice gifts. So yeah, trying to save a little bit of money after having quite a big credit card bill from coming back from New York last month. So trying not to spend much this month. So yeah, I got out my um, kit that I don't even know the brand of the kit. It's in Russian. I'm not really sure what the make is. It's a bit hard to decipher. Um, but it is from a Leonid Afrimov painting. 
and this is how much I have done so it actually looks quite good on camera compared to when I look at it in real life <laughs> this is the top left corner and this is a tree start getting some different coloured leaves on the trees down here and then this is the blue sky behind um, it would have been sensible of, oh no I think I have it I'll show you the actual picture just in case some of you haven't watched my previous videos and seen it then I want a reminder so I can't be bothered to edit a picture in so I'll go and get the picture one minute So this is how it will turn out. So this bit here is what I have done. So I'll show you both together. Oops, there we go. So hopefully you can make that out. This is approximately, I did calculate it, about 25. No, 2,500 stitches-ish. Maybe slightly more than that now, actually. But I worked out, I did the maths. If I did 100 stitches, no, I think if I did 500 stitches a week, then it would take me about two years to do. So it will probably take longer than that because I won't work on the same thing all the time. Probably won't always get... 500 stitches a week on it when I do work on it so let's say three to four so that's not not too bad so 50,000 or so stitches in all so I'm actually quite pleased with it. I'm going to work on this when I finish filming I think so yeah I'm quite pleased with the coverage actually if you look close up you can kind of see little white bits in the dark green areas but yeah generally I'm quite pleased with that so this frame cover is made by um, a lady on Facebook called Crafty All Sorts I really like her frame covers they really they fit the Q snap sizes really well my other one that I had for this size frame was a bit too loose bit baggy didn't really do a particularly great job at holding excess fabric in whereas this is just perfect I don't know if you can see it's got kind of all sewing things on it and then this needle minder or both needle minders are from Needle Keep Emporium and this is Van Gogh's Starry Night thought I'd chose another artist a famous artist picture to go with another artist picture and then this has no link whatsoever, but um, I found it useful to have two if I did have some parked threads. So, yeah, so both from Needle Keep Emporium. So, yeah, really pleased with how that's coming on. One to concentrate on, though, because there's lots of confetti. Not an easy, not one you can kind of do blindly while you're watching TV. You have to kind of concentrate on this. OK, so that's that one. And then, I think this is the only other one I've worked on. Yeah, so this is um, Four Owls by Bothy Threads. So this is the Spring Owl. It would be quite good if I could stitch them according to the current season, wouldn't it? So, last time I showed you this, I had done the hearts, I had done the branch, I think I'd done the feet. And then I've done a little bit of the lower part of his body. So I have done most of this light green. I've got a little bit further up here to go. And then kind of a symmetrical part up here. Um, yeah, so once I've done that, I'll start doing the wings, which are here and here. And then there's a little pattern in the middle to do. So this is being stitched on um, a fabric from Crafty Kitten. I can't remember what the name of it is or if it even had a name but it is a 28 it's either 28 or 32 count even weave and it's like a peachy a mottled peach color 
So I chose this because there wasn't much of this sort of colour in the design. So hopefully none of the colours that this uses will blend into it too much. So yeah. So this needle reminds us from Needle Keep Emporium also. A little rain, slice of rainbow cake. So yeah. I should actually get the picture of this. You can tell I'm very organised today. So let me get a picture of this to show you. To show you how far I am into the design. Excuse me if you see parts of me you'd rather not. That sounds dodge, but you know what I mean. Okay, so there we go. So this is the one that I've started. So you can now see the green part. And I will be doing the wings, like I said, once I have done the green bit. Okay, so this is definitely more of a easy stitch. The pattern's quite repetitive and symmetrical. So I think I last worked on the the big one um, last weekend. And then when I got in from work one day this week and I wanted to stitch, I couldn't really devote... A lot of concentration onto that one so I went for the bothy threads one as it was a little bit simpler to follow for my stressed out brain okay so that is what I have worked on um what else what else what else oh yes also um last Friday I got a message on Instagram yeah Instagram from Bo Ribbon um who does some really amazing stuff if you follow her on Instagram and what not to see all her work I don't she doesn't do floss tube I don't think but she does some lovely pieces uh, she messaged me to say that my piece that I did by Country Cottage Needleworks I think it's called Stitching Time I think it's called I did it over Christmas um, was featured on Country Cottage Needleworks um, Instagram and Facebook page as part of their Fan Friday thing that they do so yeah, I was well chuffed with that. That made me really happy last Friday. So thank you, Bow Ribbon, for telling me. And yeah, if you're not sure what piece I'm talking about, um, if you go on my Instagram Buckle Stitch, you will see I post reposted a photo of it um, last Friday. So I think I've only posted two photos since, so it won't take you too much work to find it. So if I was organised, which I am obviously not today. I have left, well I can't be bothered to go and get it because that one's upstairs and I'm sure as nice as my fairly new sofa is, I don't think you want to be staring at that while I go and get it. Um, yeah, so have a look at my Instagram instead. Um, so I caught up with a little bit of floss tube last night, so I watched Stitch M, Mumula, um, I watched Stitcherista a few days ago, Ginger Gerald Stitcher. Um, again, if you have any more recommendations of floss tubers for me to watch, then please let me know. Um, I like to add or try new people, see what they're up to. Um, yeah, and there was one more thing I was going to say. Oh, I can't remember what it was. Um, oh yeah, so I haven't bought any stitching stuff for quite a while. The only thing I've paid for this month is my Sparkly's fabric of the month um so i haven't bought anything else although i am currently tempted by some of lisa s stitches needle minders so i might give some of those a go i'm yet to decide which ones i quite like the ones from like cartoon films like the she does ones from oh what's the film called with all the emotions joy anger sadness inside out so um I might get one of those. I quite like the old man from Up. Might get that one. Um, yeah, probably throw a few more in just because why not. And yeah, I was looking at some charts last night. There was somebody. Oh, it was McKenna. McKenna on Floss Tube. I saw a a chart that she had bought called. Oh, it was by someone called Kathy. Barrick, Berrick, Kathy Berrick maybe, 
and it had a quote like I am made of I am entirely made of flaws stitched together one piece at a time something like that but it's quite a famous quote I think because when I googled it I thought it would just be the name of a cross stitch but it's not it's on lots of pictures on google so I tried looking for that and uh, it's an American one not easily obtainable here but I did find it you could get it on one two three stitch uh, you had to pay quite a bit of postage and then I found it on oh, I found it somewhere where it was about eight pounds something and then I had to pay four pounds something for postage so I can't remember oh, what website was it on I can't remember but I haven't bought anything yet because I thought on that particular website I might see if there's anything else to make the postage more worthwhile although three pounds something postage I guess is not terrible it might have been on Etsy oh I know where it was it was from the designer Kathy Berwick's Etsy page so although it wasn't a digital download it was one that she would post but even so she would be posting it from the states and she only charged three pounds something delivery whereas 123stitch.com charged about $10 or something or $12 so I think I might give that a go yes yeah, so it's quite a short video um, I will be back in another couple of weeks probably about three weeks actually because two weeks from now I've got parents evenings and it'll be really busy but the week after that I will be in my first week of the Easter holidays, so I should be able to film then. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. And I'm enjoying all your videos. Um, yeah, so sorry it was a bit of a disorganised rambling video. And I keep erming and ahhing. But yeah, so I hope everyone has a lovely weekend and you enjoy everything that you're stitching and then I will see you next time.